Today we will share how to fix a Mi 10T Pro that won't turn on. Plug in the charger to test. The phone has a response to the charger but the charging current is very low. Unplug the charger. Let's start disassembling the phone. Remove the screws with a screwdriver. Next, remove the camera and motherboard cover. Disconnect the fingerprint and battery flex cables. Disconnect the rest of the flex cables. Remove the cameras. Disconnect the antenna wires. Then take out the motherboard. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Remove the dust tape protection with tweezers. Remove the thermal paste on the CPU with tweezers. Then heat the RAM with hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the RAM with a pry knife. Take down the RAM carefully. Next, heat the CPU with hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the CPU with a pry knife. Take down the CPU carefully. Put some paste flux and low temperature solder paste into the bonding pads. Neutralize the temperature of the bonding pads with a soldering iron. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner.
Remove the black adhesive residual on the bonding pads. Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Continue to clean the bonding pads with a soldering iron. Clean with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Clean the tin on the bonding pads with solder wick. Detach the motherboard then attach the CPU to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux into the CPU. Clean the tin and adhesive with a soldering iron. Clean the CPU with PCB cleaner. Continue to clean the CPU with a hot air gun at 300 degrees Celsius and airflow 50. Clean with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux. Clean with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux. Continue to clean the CPU with soldering iron.
clean with PCB cleaner again. Detach the CPU and attach the RAM to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux. Use the same method to clean the tin and adhesive on the RAM. Detach the RAM and align the reballing stencils with the CPU. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Detach the reballing stencils. Next, Reball the rim. Align the reballing stencils with the rim. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Detach the reballing stencils. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Align the CPU with tweezers. Solder the CPU with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. If the CPU returns to position, the CPU is soldered well. Touch the CPU gently with tweezers. Put some paste flux again. Align the RAM with tweezers. Solder the RAM with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Touch the RAM gently with tweezers. After the motherboard has cooled, detach the motherboard from the PCB holder. Apply some thermal paste. Install the motherboard. Connect the flex cables. Install the cameras. Connect the battery flex cable. Plug in the charger to test.
The phone is now charging. Turn on the phone. The phone turns on normally. Unlock the phone and test the functions. MI10T Pro won't turn on has been successfully repaired.